And now let's move on to market news. We saw the Nigerian uh, Stock Exchange All Share Index closed at 34,352 today. Now that's up 2.4%. We saw gains in Dangote Cement, Nestle, Total, Okomu Oil, Wapco. Of course, lots of activity as well. Uh, we saw in the banking sector and the likes of Zenit, ETI, Access, and Wemmer. Now joining me to discuss the market, I have Boega Adebajo, who is, of course, the head structured finance and advisory at Diamond Bank. Boega, thanks for joining me on the show. Yes, it would be very yeah. good to start with uh, your thoughts on uh, you know, today's performance. Of course, we've seen a really good uh, results there from GTB. We saw 81% uh, rise in, in uh, profit after tax. That's definitely e exciting news. And the market has reacted with 2.4% uh, gain seen today. Tell us what you think. Well, um, I, I dare say that's an indication of what we're going to expect from the uh, banking sector. Um, you simply want to take GTB and place it on a scale of 1 to 10 uh, within the sector and you can start to extrapolate what the other banks might just might be doing. Um, it's, it, it was an interesting year and um, no doubt the analysts and the portfolio managers who have actually taken position all this while will, will, will probably be slapping their backs. Yeah. And now moving on, we also saw Okomu Oil declare dividend of uh, 7 Naira per share. That's a 10% dividend yield. Now, of course, that stock, we saw it gaining 10% today. Of, of course, that company also has a bonus declared one for one. Uh, now, there's, uh, there was obviously some expectation when we got that uh, dividend declaration that that stock would rally today. It would be good to, to know uh, your thoughts on uh, how much more gains we can expect to see in that stock. Well, um, I'm not too certain as to Okomu itself in particular, but uh, when you do come around to think about it, um, sometime last year there were indications that uh, there will be a very healthy performance. Mm. Um, there had been indications of uh, the management uh, taking some very interesting proactive um, activities, um, reorganization in there. And it's, it's not surprising for those who were close watchers of that sector that Okomu's had that sort of performance. Okay, now, I mean, of looking at the performance of the stocks that have actually released results for uh, full year 2012 and uh, or, or dividends released, there seems to be uh, a move towards more of a negative sentiment. I think that besides uh, Wapco, we've actually seen losses in most of those stocks since the results came through. Uh, do you feel that now, you know, of course, with the results we've seen from GT and, you know, impressive uh, dividend yield there from Okomo Oil, that we might start to see things maybe change around? Um, no, I do not expect things to change around, but um, I, I think it's an interesting uh, behavior we're seeing. Um, you, you just might be aware of the recent uh, Deutsche Bank reports that mm. uh, some Nigerian stocks are overvalued. Uh, but when you do look in terms of dividend yield, you, you will tend to wonder um, if the prices had, hadn't risen to the levels at which they were. Um, the yields will sound pretty abnormal given the sort of dividends and the sort of corporate action we're seeing. Mm. Um, the market would always correct itself, that's what I believe. And I think um, the correction we, we're seeing in terms of some stocks that have released reports um, is just some degree of stabilization. Okay, so you share that view uh, as well as Deutsche Bank that uh, those stocks are actually sh uh, showing signs of being overvalued? Well, no, I wouldn't say overvalued. I'd say they're, they're probably appropriately where they are. Um, I, I, I think the Deutsche Bank report is more in terms of a war warning mm. um, because it's been a very interesting rise uh, after just one quarter in the year. And um, the thoughts may have been, I mean, if the market keeps rising at this rate, um, where are we going to be end of the year? And then that might be an overvaluation. But um, there will be some correction with the corporate actions we're seeing. Um, if there's any growth, it will be a bit much more slower and um, some, some, some degree of uh, shedding of stocks will, will see some, some depression. Mm. We will see growth, but maybe at a much slower rate. Okay, now still on, on company news, we had Unilever as well, revenue up 2%, uh, profit after tax up 1%, 1.40 uh, dividend declared. Uh, your thoughts on that result? I mean, that stock, uh, I, I believe it is trading at its year high of 53 naira 75. Uh, year to date gains stand, stand at about 16%. What uh, do you feel that is out there for investors in terms of Unilever? Well, um, again, that's, that's one sector, the, the fast moving consumer goods that, um, that, that tends to perform pretty well. 
Um, as you well know, its products tend to be indexed to inflation, so revenue uh, volumes will always, uh, will, al will always reflect what's going on in the economy. Um, and so it's, 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 again, it's, it's not a surprising result we have there. I, I believe it's one of those stocks that's, that's standard to have in your portfolio. Um, the, the sort of fluctuations you might find in some other sectors will, will hardly ever occur um, in the FMCG sector. Wega, very quickly before I round up, it would just be good to have your thoughts on this news that IMF has called for the liquidation of Amcon. Well, um, yes, they, I mean, that, that's, uh, that, that's free speech, so to say. Um, Amcon does have its purpose and um, it has an objective and so far it, it, it's done pretty well. Uh, but that's not to take anything away from the warning that, um, you know, they, they, they need to stop taking on additional bad loans because mm. there's only so much that can be observed. So um, I'd rather just take that as a warning. Um, there's a level of bad debt that must be absorbed within the economy. And um, let's just uh, work towards cleaning up the books. That's Ab it. Absolutely. Gwega, let's leave it there. Thank you for sharing your view yeah. with us on the show.